Just letting you know, this is only my spoiler first impressions of the episode. Check my pinned comment for a free gift related to this video. And to watch my unfiltered reactions with exclusive bonuses, join my Asha Media TV club. The link is in the description box below. Now, here's my afterthoughts of this episode of Supernatural. Hmm, God's sister, huh? Okay, yin and yang, that's what we're going with. Alrighty. Um, I guess in a sense that is something that probably was right in front of me the whole time. But maybe because of its simplicity in that sense, I was just like not going to even bother entertain it as being what they were doing. God representing the light. She's the darkness. Embodied as a female. Locked her up create mankind or something along like he couldn't create anything without her around because she's dark full of stuff that would inhibit creation <laughs> all right well at least that's what what 50 percent maybe 25 percent of my wacky theory i said in the previous episode that's kind of on track i mean god is part just the Counterpart to God. God to goddess. Alrighty then. Seen something similar like that in the previous property. I'm sure some of you may recognize which one it is. But this I'm sure will take on a different tone because they're putting it as his sister this time around. So that relationship in terms of God and goddess, I have not explored in a TV show. So... That piques my curiosity. Mm -hmm. It's like it does, and it kind of... You know, no, no. I'm going to trust they're going to show me something good. If this season is beloved by a good number of you, and also not liked by some of you, let me see what's what. <laughs> As I said, you know, just the whole thing... <laughs> If you want to be judgy about the timelessness of an episode, this is one episode to kind of look at that or use that as your example. Because, yes, you're going to have that crowd that would find it uncomfortable having Dean be drawn to a very young-looking girl. And it's the inappropriateness of that. It can be so easy to label this episode in that way. But I'm making a choice not to see it that way. And yes, I can't hide. It was just a bit like, how far were they going to go? That's all I was thinking the whole time. How far are they going to go with this? Like, you know, it's one thing to have her to caress his face and we see the, the attraction. And there's a lot of sexual tones too, which I can understand. I can understand. It is not a comfortable thing to look at. But, but, if I'm understanding the story as it was presented in the first episode of the season. I'm choosing, <laughs> for the sake of being able to watch the episode without really cringing, I'm choosing to follow what I think they're trying to present, and that is a goddess, essentially, is in the vessel of a growing body. So I'm looking past the fact this, that the outside of her is a young woman, a lot younger than Dean is on a physical level, but who's inside is ancient. It's God's sister. <laughs> now, I'm thinking, is she God's big sister then? Or are we doing like a twin thing? Like I said, yin, the yin and yang. Are they going to represent an equal time frame? Okay, so that's not crazy, but I'm saying it anyway. I'm thinking because she doesn't know who death is, and death... I went back to that scene, by the way, after I recorded my thoughts on that. I went back to that scene and watched it real quick. And he talks about he doesn't know who came first between God and himself. And so if we're going to go with creation, if God created everything, if he's giving life, then the opposite of life is death by default. Anyway, okay. Sorry. I'm going too long-winded long -winded here. Um, essentially, I'm thinking because she doesn't know who death is, 
she was locked up before creation and through creation of life comes death and so that's why she doesn't know what death is because she wasn't around at the spark of life starting creating starting something like that something like that I'm just trying to justify that line for not knowing death people i don't know why it's just one of those things that puzzles the hell out of me but it's probably not as complicated as i'm making it seem for myself <laughs> story of my life okay so um overall though story wise this was a good episode this was a very good episode so i can already say it's a four and a half emojis it's not a five for me i think mainly because i didn't like the pacing too much and if it wasn't for metatron honestly his performance and just really capturing my attention with what he was saying and what was going back and forth between him and Castiel, if it wasn't for that, it's a bit, tiny bit boring for me. I mean, I'm intrigued with where everything going on with darkness and it's up and it's when you reach those scenes, you're just like, okay, okay, pay attention, right? But I really think Metatron kind of saved this episode from just being a good one. Um... A lot going on with Castiel. I like what they're doing with Castiel. They're adding some layers that I appreciate. And it's not getting all complicated with other angels. It's sticking around with the Winchesters. And you know that's what I prefer. So I will always acknowledge it as something fun and good to watch. And I like how it's adding a bit more... A little bit more badassery back to Castiel as a character. Even though it is coming from a place of <laughs> darkness for him. <laughs> He's going through his own darkness, right? And I like it. I like it. I, I'm looking forward to see how how that goes. And showing the parallels between him and Sam. That was interesting. Very good episode in that, in that regards. Rewatchable for just looking back at that. It's starting to make sense to me now when they were saying that Lucifer and Michael are freaking out in the cage because of darkness. And likely everything I said about God showing up in this season, there better be a payoff of that. But I could see where instead it's going to be God, she may actually go after Lucifer because if they're showing his cage, I could see where they'll make a reason to delay seeing God anyway. I could totally see that now. Especially now that you're putting focus back onto Lucifer in the cage and Sam, somehow, for whatever reason, he's now psychically linking back to Lucifer and then also being in hell, I guess, proximity of influence. So that's his little secret that he's keeping from Dean while Dean keeps his secret of his uh, attraction to darkness. Mm. <laughs> that's actually quite interesting when you think about it. <laughs> Just in the opposite spectrum of things. Sam being drawn to one kind of evil or one kind of darkness while... Dean is being attracted to the creator of it? Hmm. Huh. That's cool. <laughs> okay. I don't have much else to say about this episode. I look forward for whatever breakdown or summaries of anything you want me to take note of without hinting to future episodes. But just more or less, um, if you really enjoy this episode, aside from the Yamara and Dean thing, because I know certain types of viewers are totally digging that. Um, I know. Um, <laughs> could be one of the reasons why it's a favorite season. Anyway, um, yeah, either way, just share your thoughts. There you have it. Those are mine. <laughs> My afterthoughts after watching episode six, uh, six from the 11th season of Supernatural. And if you want early access to my reactions to Supernatural, details on joining my club to get that early access, including bonuses that I only share with club members, details about that is in the description box below for you. All right, people, I'm going to move on to the next episode. And so you'll see me in the next video I post related to it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Peace. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and check out my other videos.